So I'm going to go over eliminating the parameter real quick. Uh, looks like we got a lot of examples here that we can go over in class. So I'll show you how to, I'll show y'all how to do this one, and then we'll use these to get a little class discussion, and we'll go from there. So when we are eliminating a parameter, um, the reason we would want to do this is because when we're graphing a parametric equation, sometimes it's difficult or tedious to do two different equations, right? Plugging in t to two different functions and writing down the outputs for both of them and then graphing those. That can be a tedious process. So if we're given parametric equations, we can figure out how to put those together to get a rectangular equation, it's called, which is a, um, I like to think of it as a normal equation, um, just something that we're used to seeing. So what we're going to do to turn this into a rectangular equation is solve for t in one equation. So here's our param parametric equations with our parameter t. We're going to solve for our parameter t in one equation, and we're going to substitute into another equation. And that'll give us the rectangular equation. So this is just like solving systems of equations, right? So it's almost like there was a way, or there was a reason that we learned that stuff. Because that helps us in the future. So let's go ahead and try this out on our own. So we're going to solve for t in one equation. Solving for a variable means you're isolating that one. So let's go ahead and isolate t in the y equation because it would be very simple. So this turns into y or 2y equals t. And then our next step is to substitute in the other equation. So we'll plug this in here. So we get x equals 2y squared minus 4. And so that ends up being x equals 4y squared minus 4. And we, I mean, we can simplify for x if we have to, but it doesn't say that we have to. Um, if it says write your rectangular equation in terms of y or something like that, or in terms of x, then you can differentiate between what you need to solve for. But as long as you substitute back into the equation or the other equation and it's correct, um, you've got the rectangular equation. So pretty simple on doing that. Um, you guys already know the skill already, it's just applying it in a different way. And so we'll try to talk about finding parametric equations real quick, and then I will let you all off for 11.1. So finding parametric equations, find a set of parametric equations to represent the graph of y equals 1 minus x squared using the two following parameters. So based on this, if we're going to solve for a variable and plug it into the other one to eliminate the parameter, if we're finding the parameter, let's flip that process around. So what we should do there is define one of these variables by t and then plug it into our rectangular equation. So if we know that x equals t, that's a, per, that's a parametric equation right there. And so our other parametric equation would be y equals, and this is what we're going to have to figure out. So since we have our rectangular equation here, we can take this statement, x equals t, and use it so that we can plug it in here and figure out an equation for y. So since x equals t, or t is equal to x, we can plug in t to this equation here. And then, since we don't have to simplify anything, it's super easy. It's going to change for this example, but I'm going to let you all do that, and you should be able to figure it out. But y is just going to be equal to 1 minus t squared. So that's finding parametric equations. Um, these two are kind of opposite operations, um, but both of them are very doable and much like a lot of other things we've seen before. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll catch you all in 11.2.